Hi, I'm Leslie Ward. I'm a vegan and vegetarian chef and a mom of four daughters. And I like to get up in the morning and start baking. It works really well in the winter time because it helps warm up your home and it help, works really well in the warmer months because that way you're doing your baking before it gets really hot outside. So I got up this morning and I made for you one of our favorites. It's a fruit crisp. Fruit crisp. Fruit crisp. Fruit crisp. I love all kinds of rustic fruit desserts. Crisps, crumbles, cobblers, you name it. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start by turning on the oven to bake at 350. These are the ingredients we're going to use to make the appleberry crisp. We have rolled oats, white flour, brown sugar, white sugar, uh, some fresh apples. I have some frozen berries, uh, apple cider vinegar or lemon. Uh, I'm gonna use some fresh ginger, but that's optional. Uh, I also have some salt, cornstarch, you could also use tapioca starch, a little bit of oil, any kind, and some baking powder. So I like to cut uh, the apples up into little cubes like this. A lot of times when you see an apple dessert, uh, the apples are cut into more of a crescent shape, but I find those don't cook and melt down quite as nicely. Okay, now we're going to mix all the ingredients for the fruit base of the crisp right here in the baking dish. You don't need to grease the pan, uh, so I'm just going to put in the apples and the blackberries. Okay, now again, we need a total of a half a cup of sugar. I'm gonna use that mix again of brown sugar and white sugar. I just think that adds a nice flavor. I also happen to just have some fresh ginger in the house, so I'm gonna add just a little bit. I like to grate it on my microplane grater. Now we just need one tablespoon of cornstarch or tapioca starch. And then we just need a little bit of liquid to get it all going. And that liquid should be some kind of acid. Either lemon juice works great, or I'm using this wonderful apple cider vinegar that we get up at Snowline Orchard. That's in apple country here in California. Uh, we like to go in the fall and pick apples. So just adding a little bit and the tartness and sharpness really balances out the sweetness. Now you can just mix this with your hands or a spoon. And that's it. Okay, so let's put together all the ingredients for the topping for the fruit crisp. Uh, we're gonna start with one cup of the rolled oats. Then I'm going to use a half a cup of flour. We need a half a cup total of sugar. I'm going to go half and half. I'm going to do half white flour, uh, sugar, excuse me, and half brown sugar. Okay, so now I'm just going to add one teaspoon of baking powder. <clears throat> two tablespoons of the oil, and a little pinch of salt. Now we're just gonna mix this up until it's all incorporated. And now we're just gonna sprinkle on the topping evenly all over. You want a good ratio of topping to fruit here. So cooking times vary. It really depends on a lot of different factors, how deep your baking dish is, 
Um, the deeper it is, probably the longer you're going to want to bake it. Um, how hot your oven runs, you kind of have to just know your own oven. Um, also, you know, how much fruit you've put in, whether it was frozen to begin with. Those are all factors that could affect the cooking time. I'm going to set my timer for half an hour and check it at that point. If I feel like the fruit needs a little bit more cooking or the topping isn't quite brown enough, we'll let it go a little bit longer. And now it's out of the oven and uh, it should just be bubbling. The fruit should be soft and the top should be a little bit browned. Obviously, one of the best ways to serve a warm apple crisp is with some ice cream or whipped cream. But actually, my favorite way to eat it is leftovers, kind of cold in the morning with a cup of coffee.